So, yesterday we found out that ArenaNet no longer trusts our account security with ourselves and disabled the line codes for remembering our emails and passwords. So, we can no longer auto-log in by having different shortcuts saved with the appropriate information in the shortcut properties. LaunchBuddy will also no longer work for this method either, which I also use but if only on the rare occasion I multibox. This video won't show you how to multibox, but it will show you how you can turn that auto remember your email and password for each account at the click of a button back on. It will no longer however take you to the character select screen. Instead it will simply open up the launcher with your correct account credentials saved. So what do we do? Well first we need to make sure our local folder is up to date. To find it type percent app data percent into your search bar and press enter. Then select your Guildhall's 2 folder. As you can see here I have many local folders because I set this up yesterday but partly because of the update last night and partly to show you how easy it is I'm going to do them again. So go ahead and delete your local folder. When you launch Guild Wars it will run a quick download and create you a new one and if we go back to the app folder we can see a brand new local folder. So, simply type your email and password into the launcher and then select to remember them both. Go ahead and click log in and then play. Once you see your character select screen, it's fine to F4 and close Guild Wars 2. Now, the local folder you have saved in your app folder is set to remember those account details. But we have more than one account we want Guild Wars to remember. So, rename that folder to anything you want to use as an identifier and go ahead and launch Guild Wars again. You'll have to wait for it to download a fresh local folder, but it doesn't take long. Enter your account details for your second account and log in as before. Again, once at the character select screen, you can close Guild Wars. Go back to the app folder and rename to follow your system. Do this for as many accounts as you have. Once you have created all of your local folders, launch the patcher one last time to create the local folder that is supposed to be there and we're halfway done already. Next, we create the icons on our desktop that will launch the correct information in the patching screen. To do this, open up no Notepad and type the following. Echo off, then press enter. Then type copy and leave a space. The next piece of information will depend on your computer. To find out what yours is, go back to your app folder, right click on your local folder and from the properties copy the location and paste it into notepad. Then simply add the name of your local folder you want to remember. The second group is exactly the same but it's the name of your actual local folder. On the next line, type the address of your game launcher. You can find this in the same way. The fourth line is the same as the second with the copy folders in reverse. Next, save as. Make sure to select all files. Don't save it as a text document. Call your document whatever you choose. I like to use my account names and at the end include .bat so it saves as a batch file. Now, when you click on the icon, it will load the launcher for you ready to click login and play on the account you selected. You need one of these for each account you want to log into. To make the second, simply click edit on the first one, change the identifier for the local folder in both lines and save as again with a different name using the same all files and ending in .bat like the first. You will now have two icons that look the same but are named different. Again, do this for all of your accounts. You can now click on any icon and the patcher will open with the correct details saved. The downside to this is when we get updates you will have to go through the download each time. It will be quicker after the first time as you will have already downloaded whatever there was to find but the only way to get around this is to delete and remake all the local folders again. 
if you use the same naming system as you did the first time, you will not need to touch your practical icons. It's a pain, it's not as good as our line codes, but it does beat typing each account email and password every day, when you just want to get the alts out of the way so you can actually play the game. Hope this helps. Please remember I am no expert, but this is what I found after an hour or so yesterday from a mishmash of a multiple different sources on how to create each of the relevant things and thought I could maybe save a few of you of the hassle of finding it all out for yourself. We'll gladly like to hear of any better ways in the comment section. As always, until the next time, take care.